Wait, Braun, what do you have to meet him for? Well, he's using his connections in the mayor's office to uh, get the theater landmark status. I thought he screwed up the Dinkins campaign. Well, he did. <laughs> well, after that, he had a nervous breakdown. Had to spend a few months in an institution. Really? Yeah, but he's doing a lot better now. I've taken him under my wing. Oh, then I'm not worried. <laughs> Georgie! Hey, Mr. Lazari. Back in the old neighborhood, huh? Yeah, yeah, just uh, delivering some presents yeah. to my folks. Oh, snazzy car. Uh, the Baron? Yeah, 83. <laughs> Used to belong to John Voigt. <laughs> the actor, right? Something like that. I mind if I look under the hood. Oh, no, 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 go ahead, Pop. You always knew your cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dina! Dina, Neil, a little goose here. George Costanza, is that you? <laughs> hey, Dina, come on, give us a hug. Oh, my gosh, you look as pretty as you did back in high school. <laughs> Boy, those were some crazy times. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of crazy, did you hear about Lloyd Braun? Oh, Lloyd. I know, completely bonkers. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be so flip about this kind of thing. You know, after what happened to Pop. Pop? Oh. What happened to Pop? I thought you heard. He had a nervous breakdown last year. That's why I'm taking care of him. Oh, I'll tell you, they don't build him like this anymore. He, he doesn't have the auto shop anymore. Mm. It was too much for him. <laughs> um, I, I, I gotta go. What? Yeah, I just remembered I gotta be someplace. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Pop. Pop, put down the wrench, Pop. <laughs> I, uh, I was in here this morning, and uh, I believe I paid you with a $20 bill, but you only came to change for a 10. I don't think so. Oh, I think so, and I can prove it. You see, I was doodling on the bill, and uh, so if you have a 20 in there with big lips on it, well, that's mine. Would you mind opening up the register? Not unless you buy something. <laughs> Fine, I'll buy a pack of gum. Hey, George. I thought you didn't chew gum. I don't. Take a look. I know I gave it to you. George, would you mind? I'm kind of in a hurry. Fine. Fine. Excuse me. Think I'm going to forget about this? I haven't forgotten about this. You're probably wondering why I wanted to see you again. Well, you know. <laughs> It's understandable. I'm glad you feel that way. Because since my father's breakdown, I uh, become very sensitive to the warning signs. Warning signs? Nervousness, irritability, paranoia. What? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm not the one with the problem. Lloyd Braun was in the nut house, not me. Again, taking pleasure in the misfortunes of others. All my friends do that. George, I'm only trying to help. I'm, I'm concerned. George. George, are you listening to me? You see that woman on the horse? She stole $20 from me. Yeah, I might have gotten it back, but Lloyd Braun interfered. So again, it all comes back to Lloyd. Hey! Hey, you! Come back here! Don't go! All right, all right. Hang on, it's warming up. Hey, what is your problem? Oh, it's you. Listen, lady, I got six minutes left on that meter, and I'm not budging until you admit you stole my $20. <laughs> you're not so tough when you're not on your horse, are you, Ruthie? Your car's on fire. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> your hose! Where's your hose? The cop made me disconnected. <laughs> Jeez! What happened to your car, buddy? John Voigt car is no more. Don't you sweat it. You can use my car anytime you want to. No kidding? No kidding. Hey, thanks. Oh, you're a big one. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>